With the latest batch of smartphones reaching the market, we're hearing more and more about HDR displays. So what exactly is an HDR display? In simple terms, it is just a display which has a high dynamic range, meaning more vibrance, more brightness and more contrasts, which produce a richer image. This is not to be confused with the HDR setting on your camera or smartphone. Here, different exposure pictures are taken and fused together through a process called tone mapping. This brings out more details in the highlights and the shadows of your pictures to better replicate the increased amount of luminance we can distinguish between through our eyes. But back to HDR displays. To achieve this richer image, we need three things. Bigger contrasts, more colors, and better content. Contrast is the difference between the brightest pixel on a display and the darkest pixel. Traditional displays have a typical contrast ratio of 4000 to 1, whereas HDR requires a contrast ratio of about 20,000 to 1. But there are many different standards currently out there. The Samsung S8 is the first mobile device to be granted the HDR premium standard, with its contrast ratio of more than 2 million to 1. But it's not only about contrast, color is also important. Colors on our displays are made up of a combination of red, green and blue. On standard displays, each of these colors have 8 bits of information to determine what variant or shade it should be. This results in a total of approximately 16 million different colors. Now with HDR, we need more colors. So HDR content is encoded using 10 bits or even 12 bits of color. 10 bits results in a total of approximately 1,07 billion colors, and 12 bit results in almost 70 trillion colors. HDR10 is your standard for 10 bit color, and Dolby Vision is your standard for 12 bit color, both of which are features in the LG G6 smartphone. Now, HDR displays are not going to make your standard videos or films look better. If they're made in 8 bit color, HDR displays can't magically add something to that. They're going to show them in 8-bit color. Which is why the third requirement to an HDR display is content, which is encoded in 10 or 12-bit color. Anyway, I hope this video has been helpful. If so, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech-related videos like this one. I'm David, and I am going to see you in the next one. Ciao.